What's up everybody, welcome back to DKTR, my name is Darren, and today we are going to be checking out the HyperX Quadcast S. This entire video will be recorded using audio from the Quadcast S, so let's get started. The HyperX Quadcast S is a USB condenser microphone with four selectable polar patterns, customizable RGB, and the ability to record audio at 48kHz 16-bit. It comes in two different colors, a black and a white gray, and costs around $160 US dollars. But at the time of recording this video, it's on sale on Amazon for around $120 US dollars, so click the link in the description below to check its current price. Now let's take a quick look at the microphone. The HyperX Quadcast S is suspended on a shock mount. On the front, there is a HyperX logo. On the bottom, there is a dial that controls the gain of the microphone. Twisting to the left decreases the gain, and twisting to the right will increase it. Moving upward, you will notice the RGB lighting behind the built-in pop filter where you will speak into. And on the top, there is a touch-sensitive tap to mute button that will switch off the RGB when pressed so you can tell when the mic is muted. On the back of the microphone, there is a USB-C port to power and transmit the audio from the mic, and a headphone jack to monitor the audio. Above this, there is a switch to select the microphone recording polar pattern, which includes stereo, omnidirectional, cardioid, and bidirectional. In the box, you will receive the Quadcast S, a 3 meter long USB-C to USB-A cable, and a stand. However, you can remove the stand and attach the mic to a boom arm. Now let's quickly talk about the four different polar patterns that this microphone offers. The first of which is cardioid, which is what this entire video has been recorded in. Cardioid is when the mic only records what's happening directly in front of it. This makes it great for voiceover, streaming, podcasts, and instruments, or just any scenario where you only have one object talking directly into the microphone. The second option is stereo, where the microphone records what's happening in front of it, as well as the two sides. This is useful for vocals and instruments. The third choice is omnidirectional, which is when the microphone records everything that's going on around it in a 360 degree bubble. This is great for multi-person podcasts or conference calls where you have multiple people surrounding the mic and you want all of them to be picked up clearly. The final polar pattern is the bi-directional polar pattern, which is where the mic records what's happening directly in front of it and directly behind it. This is great for face-to-face -face interviews. Now let's talk about some of the cons of this microphone. Starting with the fact that the HyperX Ingenuity software is very limited. It's only really useful for customizing the RGB and it's only available on PC. So if you're an avid Mac user and you're interested in this microphone because of the customizable RGB, it may not be the best choice for you. Also, the HyperX Ingenuity software does not allow for any audio settings like a noise gate or monitoring the audio levels. To do this, you would need to use a third party software like Voice Meter. The next con is that the design as well as materials used to make this microphone make it kind of difficult to clean. The black model especially attracts a lot of dust and grime, and since it is built onto a shock mount, it's kind of hard to reach in between and get all the dust out of the crevices. The fact that this is a USB condenser microphone allows it to be very easy to use, compatible with many devices, and deliver good out-of-box sound quality, but USB does have its limits. Most professionals would probably prefer to go with an XLR setup due to the higher audio quality it can produce. An XLR setup is more expensive considering you would also have to get an audio interface to power it, but it will allow you to reach the highest audio quality. If you are someone who values audio quality over everything else, it may be beneficial to go with an XLR setup and grow from there rather than buying this. And the final con, which is actually the most annoying in my opinion, is that the HyperX Quadcast S does not always turn on with my PC's boot up. It won't turn on and I have to unplug it and plug it back in in order to get it to work. This is kind of a nuisance, however, after looking online, not many people seem to have this issue, so it may be kind of more of a localized thing just to my model. Now let's quickly go over some of the pros of this microphone. Starting with the fact that the RGB looks great, the microphone is super easy to use, and the audio quality is very good. The four selectable polar patterns make this mic super versatile, and you can use it in any scenario, whether you're in a conference call or you're just talking face to face with someone else. The touch sensitive mute button is super useful to have, and you can really easy switch between having the mic muted and not muted. And since the RGB lighting switches off when you mute the mic, you don't have to worry about accidentally pressing it and not realizing that you're muted. Also having a physical gain dial on the bottom is nice to have so you can quickly adjust the gain if you believe you're clipping 
in your audio. This mic also comes with a built-in shock mount and pop filter, which helps filter out any plosions from your voice and any shakes from your table. And finally, this mic is Discord certified, works with PC, Mac, PS4, and PS5. However, you have to remember that the HyperX Ingenuity software is only available on PC. If you are in need of a better microphone, whether it be for streaming, podcasts, Discord, or even Zoom calls, and you are interested in the RGB aesthetic this mic provides, the HyperX Quadcast S is the perfect choice for you. It's super easy to use and delivers great audio quality, and the four selectable polar patterns make it useful in any scenario. However, if its price tag seems a little high for you, you can always go with its predecessor, the original HyperX Quadcast. They're basically the exact same mic, but the original Quadcast uses a USB mini B port instead of a USB C and it only has red LEDs it does not have customizable RGB it costs around $100, so you can find it for a lot cheaper. As always, links to anything seen or mentioned in this video can be found in the description down below. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. If you enjoyed, please feel free to like and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching DKTR. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.